please welcome Rob Delaney. Uh, but I kept writing jokes on this stupid website because, uh, and there was a big debate back then: should you do that? Should you give away your jokes for free, uh, as it were? And uh, I couldn't get anybody to pay me to do it, so I just wanted to show people that I had like a work ethic, and I was just churning out garbage every day that I just wanted to smear on the world. And gradually it worked, and I started to get hired writing for TV shows and magazines and other newspapers and stuff. But then in, at the end of 2009, a woman wrote me on, on Twitter, and she said, hey, would you like to write a book for me? And I didn't know who it was. So I was like, yeah, OK, and then forgot about it. And then a real writer, Matt Johnson, who's probably been at a bunch of LA festivals of books. He's written some amazing books. He's written um, Pim, Incognito, and a lot of great books. He's amazing. He wrote me an email, and he goes, hey, asshole, the woman who wrote you is like a massive publisher. You have to talk to her. So I wrote her back, and I was like, remember the other day <laughs> when I was all cavalier, like, that was a joke. Did you, did you like that joke? And uh, yes, I want to write a book for, for you. But there is one story there's one 7,000-word story that I lost on my computer for a year and almost didn't make it in, and I was reading the revisions. There were some things that uh, I wrote in it initially that the editor and publisher were like, you don't need that in there. And I, lo I looked at it, I was like, yeah, you're right. But nothing, because it was so shocking or crazy or anything, it just might not have tonally fit with what I wanted to do, which was you know, a memoir that paid no attention to chronology and was just about memories that, you know, surfaced in my own sort of psyche because I figured those would be the ones that would be most interesting to people. So it was my sort of mission to write a book that was always interesting, sometimes funny, you know, sometimes sad, but never, I didn't want there to be a syllable in there that shouldn't have been. So anytime the editor said to take something out, I was like, can do. Stand-up makes me so happy that, yes, I'll definitely do it, uh, which probably speaks to why did I ever get to doing it. Stand-ups made me so happy growing up as a kid. You know, Bill Cosby, Richard Pryor, George Carlin, Joan Rivers, seeing them, like, laughing at that, I mean, and to the point of pain, I, it makes me just so happy. And then the, pro the thought, which came to me in college, like, wait, I could maybe, r maybe do that, was like, oh. And then I started doing it and wasn't good at all. And then so gradually, I've gotten a little bit better. Um, and, and, and that, too, it's so challenging. It's so hard. Stand-up remains <laughs> so difficult and challenging in a very fun way. <laughs> <laughs>